All right, guys, what's up? So today I have a max Nightmare Zone points per hour guide for you. So this method gets me about 1.6 mil Nightmare Zone points per hour. Now, this usually depends on the spawns you get while in Nightmare Zone. It can be a little bit less. It can be a little bit more. It just depends on the monsters you get. But this is what I do to get my points. If you guys want to check the description, I'm sure people will leave comments as to things they do that may be more efficient than I do and maybe a little bit better. So always make sure to check the comments in case something has been updated or for other people's methods that might be better for you. So we're obviously going to be using... Uh, full DH, Primordial Boots, Berserker Ring, Fire Cape, and a Fury, uh, Barrow's Gloves, and then obviously, like I said, Full DH. You can switch out other things, Primordial Boots for Dragon Boots, stuff like that, you know what I mean. Our inventory is going to consist of a Granite Maul, a Toxic Blowpipe, Prep Potions, Absorption Potions, three Overload Potions, Ice Gloves, a rock cake, a holy wrench, and then, like I said, we have the Gmall and the toxic blowpipe. Now, this method is going to have you go into a customizable hard rumble. Now, this means you have to have 26 plus K in your coffer, and you need 26K if you do not have quest cape. If you have quest cape, it will cost you 16,000 GP. So just make sure if you have quest cape, you have 16K. If you don't have quest cape, you have 26K in your coffer. With coins in your coffer and your inventory and setup is all complete and all set up, go ahead and right click on Dom Onion and we're gonna create a new customizable hard rumble. So we'll just do that by clicking on rumble, going to customizable hard, and then he will ask you for the certain coins. In this case, I had to pay 16K if you have Questcape and 26K if you don't have Questcape, like I said, and then go ahead and drink the potion. Now here are all the ones you need to have checked and I will leave this link in the description. It's basically the ones that will not screw up your DHing and aren't really annoying to kill. They're the, they're the ones that you can just kill with your one HP DH method pretty easily and you're not gonna you don't have to constantly switch to like mage or range you're gonna be mainly focusing on melee in this case except for the occasional ranging of camille but i'll talk about that a little bit but those are the ones you want checked again the reason we have a lot of these checked and it's not like totally afk is because the more the more monsters you have now in nightmare zone the more points they are for killing them so for example usually you wouldn't have the desert treasure bosses in there but if you have the dt bosses inside you get a lot more points for killing other monsters so the more monsters pretty much the better the more points you're going to get for your quick prayers go ahead and turn on rapid heal and that's the only one you're going to want on your quick prayers and just press done that's really simple i'll explain that later in a little bit so once you're totally ready go ahead and click on your rock cake or guzzle your rock cake until you get down to 51 hp 51 hp is exactly what you want to be on when you go in nothing less nothing more and pretty much really simple so once you have 51 hp Go ahead and drink the potion make sure you have all the correct bosses set up and then we're going to go ahead and accept and get into the dream once you're in there instantly go ahead and take your overload potion and now you can see the overload potion will bring us down to one hp now we want to go ahead and chug six vials worth of absorption potions now each one does 50 or heals you i guess for 50 it gives you basically 50 points of absorption so the first one we're going to go ahead and chug those are going to equal 1000 i guess absorption potion points now this means you can absorb up to 1000 points of damage and that's just from those six vials and we have another six i guess another pair of six that we can chug later so you have 2000 i guess points worth of absorption now from here you guys want to go ahead and turn on piety and you can also prayer flick if you want uh this will save you i guess a lot of prayer potions a lot of prayer points it means you can last longer in here however i'm really lazy i don't like prayer flicking so i just left it on the entire time now, there is a very important thing you need to do, I would say, once every 30 seconds, so twice every 60 seconds, and that is just to flick your quick prayers right there. You saw me just flick it really quickly, I turned Piety off and just clicked it to turn it back on. Now, what this does is this turns on the rapid heal, and this will keep your HP at 1 HP. If you don't constantly do this uh, once every 30 seconds, then your HP will keep rising. So it'll be two. If you don't do it again, it'll be three. If you don't do it, it'll be four. And obviously you want to stay on one HP because the one HP gives you pretty much the max hits as long as you have your overloads up and your piety is up as well. So always make sure you do the quick heal or sorry, the rapid heal at least once every 30 seconds. Now there are a couple monsters in specific, the desert treasure ones that you might have a little bit of trouble with, but you just have to follow a couple certain rules and you'll be totally fine. Now one of the desert treasure bosses that spawns is damis and what damis does you can pretty much kill his first form very easily but you don't want to because the second form go ahead and drains your prayer which is not at all what you want so you want to leave this guy alone if he spawns you want to leave him totally alone the other boss that spawns is camille and camille is the one that will constantly barrage you from far away so basically he'll barrage you like once every second or so and what you have to do is just keep spam clicking him to get even closer to him it's very annoying so what you can do is if you want you can go ahead and dh him however i bring a blowpipe just because it's faster dps i feel like it kills him quicker and i can obviously range him from a little bit farther away than if i would have to completely run up to him with my durox 
And you also have to pay attention to Farid. Farid is another desert treasure boss, and all you have to do with him is just put on your ice gloves. If you don't have your ice gloves on when killing him, he they're basically your, your weapon gets too hot. You guys remember the fight. So every time you see him spawn, go ahead and put on your ice gloves. And yeah, those three are the most annoying, I'd say, and just the ones you have to pay attention to. The rest you can kill pretty damn easily. There are some very useful power-ups that spawn in the Nightmare Zone as well, those being Power Surge, Recurrent Damage, Ultimate Force, and Zapper. So Power Surge is very useful because it restores your special attack at a much greater rate, so you can pretty much spec with whatever spec weapon you brought, whether it's your Granite Maul, your Ancient Mace, or maybe something like a Cerdo and Godsword, you can spec very, very quickly. And it's very useful, especially for the Granite Maul, because it kills him quickly, and it gets you more points, so more points per hour, obviously. And you can see in this case, you just pretty much do crazy damage with the Grand Mall and whatever whatever one you bring, it's very useful. So constant uh, spec restoration is obviously going to be very useful, so try to get that whenever possible. The recurrent damage one, which is the red one, is very useful for getting points because it basically does more damage than you usually do. So whenever you hit a monster with the recurrent damage on, you will hit it again straight after your initial hit and you'll do three-fourths of the damage that you did the first time, which obviously kills the monsters faster, gets you more points, you want to do this whenever possible. There is the ultimate force one, which is the white one, and you should only ever click this one when you have Damus attacking you or potentially Camille if you don't want to kill Camille. Since you never want to have, you never want to kill Damus, you want to do the ultimate force. And what the ultimate force does is it can instantly kills every monster that's on you. However, these you don't get points for killing these monsters. However, they instantly kill them. So you get a new spawn of monsters, which is nice because you won't constantly only have three spawns. And then Damus, you'll have new four new spawns coming. So only use those when you have Damus on you. The last one is the Zapper one, which is purple, which is a pretty good power-up. It basically hits all the monsters that are close to you for one day damage. However, where you have to be careful for is that if Damus is alive and you have Zapper on, this thing can accidentally kill him because you're obviously you're not controlling what it does damage to, which is basically doing damage to every single monster around you. So really only try to click on the Zapper when you don't have Damus around. Always remember to keep track of your absorption potions as well because when that gets close to zero, you want to go ahead and keep drinking the ones you have in your inventory and just get back up to max absorption. And and just know that when you're out of absorption potions, that's pretty much when your trip is over because you have nothing left but your prayer and you'll eventually get hit through your prayer or you'll get hit if you don't have any prayer and that'll end the trip. So that's what you're basically living off of. So guys, that's pretty much it. Those are the main things you have to know from here. It's just simply keeping track of your HP. As so you can see this case, I forgot to flick my rapid heal and I went up to two HP, which sort of sucks, but it's not too big of a deal. Now, what I mean by the points can vary is that you can get some good spawns for example, this huge inadequacy one here, it's called the inadequacy, gives 51,000 points for killing. It's the hard one from the Dream Mentor boss. So when you kill this thing, which is actually very easy to kill, it gives you 51,000 points. Now, if you get four or five of these during your time here in Nightmare Zone, you're already at 200 to 250,000 points just from one monster, which is pretty insane. However, if you don't get many, you unfortunately don't get many points, which is unfortunate. It just really depends on the spawns you get. And how example, or for example, how often you get Spawns like Damus where you have to constantly reset your thing because you're using Ultimate Force or Camille where you're wasting time because he's constantly barraging you. It really depends on what kind of monsters you get in your Nightmare Zone spawn. But at the end of the day, you're still going to be looking at pretty much, if you're doing it like this, you're almost guaranteed going to be getting more than 1.5 mil points an hour. So this trip, I managed to last 41 minutes and I got 1 million 46,000, excuse me, 1 million 48,000 points. So if I would have lasted here another 20 minutes, I would have had another 500,000 points, which put, would have put me over 500,000 points per hour. However, this entire time, I actually only got two inadequacies. So that only gave me 100,000 points. So if you have four or five in your spawn, like I said, you're gonna be getting a lot more points. It just depends on the spawn you get. But I managed to get 1 million 40,000 points in 41 minutes, which is very useful because now I basically stocked up on the week for my herb boxes. And I just do this like once a week, once every two weeks, whenever I need some more points. And it's perfect, that's all I need to do. But uh, yeah, anyways guys, that's it. If you have any questions, make sure to post them below. If you guys think you can help out at all or think you can improve the guide at all, make sure to post below as well. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed, hope to see you next time. Have a good one and peace.